What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to continue our discussion for Revit Mechanical Design Professional Certification Preparation. So we are still on the analysis for mechanical design topic. So in this video, after we learn how to create system zone, this time we are going to learn how to create analytical systems. Okay, so remember last time, when we created our zone, so we are able to see this on our system browser, okay? The system browser can be opened by right-clicking on the blank space. So this is a blank space, just right-click, and then you will see there the browsers, and then after that, look for system browser. Another way to activate your system browser is by pressing F9, okay? So let me open the system browser, and then there you go. And then here, make sure analytical systems is selected for you to be able to see all the system zones that you have created in this project. And also you will notice that these system zones are under an assigned system because they are not yet assigned to a system, which is what we're going to do. So we're going to learn how to create analytical systems in this video, okay? Right, so let's do this. So from the top right, you can see here four options. The first one here uh, to, the, to your right is the auto fit all columns. This is just the arrangement of your column. So let's say your column is like that. So you can just click that to auto fit the column, just like that, see? Okay, so the important tool here are these three, this one, add zone equipment, add air system, and then add water loop, okay? So these are the three tools available to create analytical system. So let's do this. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create zone equipment, okay? So let's click this icon here to add zone equipment. So let, let's click this, and then there's your zone equipment, and automatically it's already selected. That's why you will notice here on the properties that's your zone equipment. Now, let's specify the name. So, let's click this and then let's type the name. So, uh, let's say I'll just type uh, VAV1-1 and then I'm going to specify the equipment type. So, let's click the drop-down arrow there and then I'm going to select here Series Fan Powered Box. So, let's click that one. Okay, and then for the behavior, I'm going to select here group spaces on equipment. All right, and then for the heating coil, so I'm going to select here electrical resistance. So for these settings, the one that knows this is the, elect the mechanical engineer, the designer. So they know these terminologies. They know how to do the computation and rev it have tools for that, which is what we are doing right now, okay? So if you have any questions, you can ask your engineer about these options that we are selecting. Okay, so right now on our air system, so we'll, we will just leave it uh, undefined because we don't have air system at the moment, okay? Right, so after we create our zone equipment, I'm going to select here system zone one dash one so if i click that so that is our system zone one dash one so i'm gonna select this one and then after that i'm going to set the zone equipment to vab one dash one okay which is the one that we just created vab one dash one there you go and then just apply and then you will notice now your your system one dash one will not appear anymore under an assigned because it's now assigned to a system here. So if you expand the VAV 1-1, so you can now see here these uh, analytical spaces. Okay, so a while ago, this is all under an assigned, right? So let me just undo it. So I'm just going to show you again. So undo, you see? Here's our system 1-1 and then these are the these are the analytical 
spaces for our system zone 1-1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select system zone 1-1 and then I'm going to specify the zone equipment which is the one that we just created VAV 1-1 and then look what will happen here. So zone equipment VAB 1-1 and then apply and there you go. So it's now under the VAB 1-1. So they are now assigned to our VAB 1-1 uh, zone equipment okay so now the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to add air system okay so we're going to add air system so by the way if I select here VAB 1-1 our zone equipment we created from this tool so our VAB 1-1 you will notice here the air system is undefined don't worry because we haven't created our air system. So that is why we're going to create air system. So let's click this. Okay, again, air system is already selected. That's why you will notice on the properties it's saying here air system. So we're going to specify the name just like what we did on our VAB 1-1. So I'm going to call this AHU1. And then for the heat exchanger, again, this is a mechanical engineering term. So I'm going to select here enthalpy and then preheat coil. I'm going to make this electric resistance and cooling coil. I'm going to make this chilled water and then heating coil. I'm going to make this uh, hot water. Okay. And then for the fan, I'll just leave it variable volume. Okay. So don't worry about the chilled water loop and then the heating hot water loop. So we will just leave it as it is, undefined, okay? So don't worry about that. So I'm going to select your apply. And there you go. So we just created now our air system AHU1, okay? So now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a water loop, okay? So add water loop. So let's click this. Okay, so there's our water loop. Okay, so let's specify the name here. So I'm going to call this chilled water. Chilled water. And then for the loop type, I'm going to select here chilled water. Okay, so let's click that one. And then for the chiller type, we are just going to use air cooled. Okay, so now if we have a chilled water, so we are going to create also a heating hot water. So we're going to create another water loop. So let's click this. Okay, and then let's specify the name. So let's call this heating hot water. Okay, and then for the loop type, so let's use here, of course, hot water. And then let's apply. So we now have here two water loops. So we have chilled water and then heating hot water. So now all we have to do is to apply this chilled water and heating hot water to our AHU1. Okay, so to our air system. Okay, because as you can see, there's an exclamation point there, right? So it, it means to say that there's, there's something missing. Okay, so I'm going to select AHU1 and then I'm going to specify now the chilled water loop. So let's click undefined, click the drop down. You will now see here the chilled water that we just created as well as the heating hot water loop. So click the drop down and then you will now see here your heating hot water. So let's click that and then apply. And then again, you will notice there is no more exclamation point here, meaning our uh, air system is already completely defined. Now, the next thing that we'll be doing, let's, let's click VAB1-1. You see there's an exclamation point, something missing. So let's click VAB1-1. And there you go. Air system is undefined. So I'm going to click the drop down arrow here and let's specify AHU1 as a as a air system there you go and then apply that's it for this simple exercise wherein we have learned how to create our analytical system okay so we have here our zone equipment okay and then we oh not the zone equipment so we have here our h1 so that is our zone equipment and then we created couple of water loop all right.
Okay, so that's it for this simple exercise. So hopefully, you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.